Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be washing this Kia Sportage which covers an awful lot of motorway miles. It hasn't been washed in quite a little while and it carries dogs about in it as well. So stay tuned and see how we get on with this one. kick things off I'm going to start with the interior starting with getting all the loose dirt vacuumed up before moving on to the drill brush to loosen off any of that kind of ingrained dog hair or any other dirt and making sure that the carpets are all nice and clean Moving on into the back, and it's not really as bad as what you would think. A little leftover lunch container there, but these things are to be expected when you've got kids. Anyway, cracking on with the hoovering and using that drill brush hoover and hoover technique combined just to get everything all nice and clean. I like using the drill brush instead of kind of going over things with like a lily pad or something like that. I just feel that it just agitates and more stuff out of the carpet fibres and just you get a better end result. Cracking on with the dashboard then, and this is going to be Garage Therapy Zero Interior, uh, diluted at 10 to 1. Using this in combination with a scrub pad, just to get deep into the pores of that dashboard, which is kind of that faux, faux leather type stuff. Not real leather, but looks like leather. So just using the scrub pad to get in about it and just give it a right good clean up here. Once I was finished with all the interior surfaces it was time to crack on with the leather and it looked quite shiny so I thought it was maybe worth a little 50-50 here. For this I'm using the Garage Therapy Leather Cleaner along with my SGCB Leather Cleaning Brush which is slightly bigger than the Garage Therapy one, just covers a little bit more surface area. And now that I'm finished up with the interior, I can get started on the exterior. Starting of course with the wheels. And for the tyres here, I'm using the Garage Therapy Decon Shampoo. Again, diluted at 1 to 10 and the trigger spray bottle gives me a litre of solution. I'm going to use this to clean the tyres.
for the wheels themselves as they are quite contaminated I'm going to start with the Garage Therapy Iron Oxide followed up by the Garage Therapy Wheel Shampoo version 2 if you read on the Wheel Shampoo version 2 bottle it does give you the instruction that if the wheels are contaminated it's worth using in combination with the Iron Oxide And then when it comes to the back wheels, the car's got the carpeted wheel arch liners and what I've found is that using this turbo nozzle really, really helps just blast out those carpeted liners. Works in a similar way that the drill brush attachment does for the interior carpets, just by agitating the fibres up and knocking all the dirt out of them. For the bodywork, normally I would go in with the Decon shampoo as a pre-wash, but because I'm still testing out the Garage Therapy Citrus pre-wash, I've went in with a 1 to 10 dilution here to see what kind of work that it can do on this paintwork, which is very dirty and very contaminated. Following getting all that pre-wash rinsed off, I did feel that it done a really good job, however there was still some dirt left over that I felt would benefit from a bit of a hit of a snow foam. So I sprayed on some of that Decon shampoo, that 10 to 1 that I had, and then layered on some Garage Therapy 1 V2 snow foam, and that was a 200ml of product to 800ml of water.
if you can't already tell, there is a bit of a theme going on with this video, and I'm, I'm only using garage therapy products out with the tar and glue removal that I'm going to be using later on. These are the products that I enjoy using, and with this car being in a bit of a mess, I thought it only deserves products that I feel at the moment are the best products on offer. Whilst that's been said, if you are liking this video so far, please do remember to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. For the contact wash here, again I'm using Garage Therapy Zero Decon Shampoo. I've not measured out anything here, I just gave a generous glug into the bucket and agitated it up. Now that I'm finished up with the contact wash, it is time to start the decontamination process, which of course I'm going to be using the Garage Therapy Zero Iron Oxide. I was expecting the car really to light up very purple with the amount of miles that it's done since its last wash, but I was actually pleasantly surprised with the lack of iron fallout contamination on it. Just a very little bit here at the back. There was however a fair few tar spots, so it's out with the tar and glue remover, giving it a liberal coating there to start dissolving the tar. I'll then spray a little bit onto my cloth once I wipe it off the plastic trim and then just start getting rid of those tar spots. Once I'm finished doing a chemical decontamination, I do like to give the car a good coating in snow foam just to neutralise any of that iron oxide or tar and glue removal that may be left. Once that's all rinsed off, I can get the car dried and we can start thinking about applying some protection. When it comes to the protection phase, I'm starting to lose the light here, so I thought a very quick method of application would be useful, so we went with Garage Therapy Sigma. This is the Sigma V2. I've already explained how to use this in previous videos, so if you want to go back and watch a few of them, it will give you a more in-depth guide on how to apply this product, but it is very easy, very straightforward. Spray on and wipe off, and you're good to go.
told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away By the time I'd finished I really had lost the light uh, which made me miss the fact that I hadn't dressed the tiles or in this case conditioned the tiles so again with another Gary's Therapy product this is the tile serum putting this on the tiles to breathe a bit of life back into them and hopefully give them some nourishment over the next few days and weeks and then just as I come into some closing shots I'd just like to say thanks for watching the video, thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way. I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace. I never really asked to be brought into this place. You want to love me, well then baby, have a taste. All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same. I don't really want to hurt you, but I can't control the pain. Sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay, 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 maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never felt this way, I really hope that you will choose to stay.